Hello everyone, welcome back in the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a request handler for the dashboard since it was requested by one of our subscribers in the Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So here we are into Visual Studio Code. So to make the handler, I'm gonna make it here. Alright. So as you can see here, the slash command handler, the event handler, and here the command handler. So here let's type uh, request handler. Alright, so uh Let's start by uh, typing let files or fs, and you're gonna need to install fs if you don't have it. All right, so npmi fs. So read beer sync. Okay, this one. And then we're gonna need to put the path. So uh, actually, here I have assets css html and js one thing is that js is vanilla js for the html but i want to make another one for node.js so normally people make one call it public right so there i'm gonna put here dot slash website slash uh public and then I'm going to just do filter and f dot ends with dot js. All right. So basically, this one here basically what does it do is guess all the files into the public, all right, public folder that ends with dot js, all right. And then files dot for each f and like this an arrow function. So here we're gonna loop through the files and type const file equal require and put the path. So uh, website slash public. Uh, Slash one more time. I'm gonna put here the F, but I'm gonna need to change the quotation. All right. So requiring the files here. So now uh, the file itself, not the files of like only one file. So if file and file dot name. So we're gonna do something, all right? If there's a file exists and has a name, so we're gonna do app dot get file dot name and then file dot run. Basically, what I just did here is set the name for the inside of uh, the file as the route and run the web function. So the name, basically, like if I did here about .js now uh, you're gonna just console.log and let's say like debug and how did I do okay so load it or let's say dashboard load it and we're gonna say the file name so i need to change the quotation again so file dot name all right let me actually type here what does each one do so get all the files in the public folder that ends with .js all right 
and here looping through all files in it right key requiring the file and for this line here if the file exists and has name do okay here this gonna set name or write from inside the file as a route and run the function all right come on function all right and lastly logs which files are being loaded all right here is the full explanation so now that we have this right now uh we can go here basically and make a index.js all right and uh we're gonna put like uh, like module dot exports equal all right and you're gonna put the name slash all right so what this slash is basically this like the home this all right and uh, run so now this is the name and now I'm going to do async require oh I mean uh, request and res and our function and here we go now we can type our code in this little part over here so what we're going to do is uh, let's do like delete require dot cache so we can just delete the cache from here so we can start like re uh redesign the html without restarting the bot all right so i guess it's like dot slash html slash home dot html and yeah looks fine to me now so let me get this little thing here right let me remove all of this because we don't need it anymore and we're gonna put it here all right uh so i guess we can now make it work like this let's try it out because why not all right here i just got an error which is probably from here. All right, now that I fixed this, uh, because I don't know the rotation of this basically, so I got the client is undefined, so that's actually pretty easy. Just client equal uh, require the index.js. Uh, Index.js.client and don't forget to have this one here okay so yeah let's try it now i expect an error coming from this line yeah okay here const fs equal require fs i still expect an error coming from here as well i still do all right well there is none that's good so now as you can see i just made it and it works if i try to about the about one like we just copy the same code here it should have the same thing if i did slash about 
All right, but I have to put here about okay. Let me rerun it. All right, we must have the same thing. So, about yup, we have the same exact thing. What about if I changed uh, this to about page? Just to make sure, and here about page. All right, now reload, reload again because it didn't get in line yet. All right, as you can see here, so the about page. Now you can do as much as you want. You have the index and you have the about. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. And next video is gonna be about uh, the Discord login thingy. So yeah, that was it, and ciao.